in various the people who have come from various countries of the world nearly 18 to 19000 people they are all gathered in that uh, township which is uh, which is the township of uh, the promised messiah and the promised reformer and that mahdi and promised messiah uh, who was uh, who came according to the prophecy of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and according to the promise of allah in this age he came he came in this age in order to uh, rejuvenate and revive the religion brought by the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he while according to the beautiful teaching of islam he he showed the human beings the paths to get nearness to allah almighty and uh, the beautiful teaching of uh, the holy quran was explained by him uh, at the same time the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam his glory and status regarding that he told the uh, people of the world and by doing so not only the right minded and pious people and those people who were worried by the attacks of the people on islam he strengthened his their faith rather every opponent of islam and uh, and all the people who were critical about the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and raising the allegations he dumbfounded these people and silenced them and the opponents of uh, islam uh, and the strong argumentation which he present there was no way left for the opponents simply to run away from this uh, confrontation and his the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam status and the status of love of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was such that nobody has ever reached there and can reach there uh, this uh, condition of his uh, daddy profound love and his relationship with allah almighty mentioning this thing he in the promise messiah alaihi salatu wasallam says that one night this humble self he invoked the drood so much that uh, my whole spirit was completely satiated with that and i saw in the dream the same night that the the angels uh, they are bringing the sacks of uh, pure noor pure light uh, and they have brought that light to uh, me and one of them said that this is these are the, the same blessings which you sent to the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam may peace and blessings of allah be upon him and uh, then he says that once uh, i got a revelation the meaning of that was that uh, the people in high heavens and uh, angel and uh, they are and the um, time is to uh, excitement of uh, for the reformation uh, of the religion of islam but uh, the it was not yet decided that who is the one who is going to revive the religion of islam so they are having different opinions and during this period i saw in the dream that uh, the people are wondering and uh, searching for a person who is the reviver and uh, one person he came in front of me and by gesture of his hand he said haza rajulun yuhibbu rasulullah that uh, this is the person this is the person who loves the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam truly and the meaning of that statement was that the greatest condition of this office is the love of al- holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and uh, that condition was truly satisfied and uh, found in me therefore allah the almighty he says that uh, the love of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam because of that he granted me this lofty position and after after looking after listening to his statements 
what was uh, supposed to happen that uh, this greatest uh, lover of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the one who has been sent for the revival of islam that person who was sent by allah that uh, it should have been that the muslims and the ulama they would uh, have supported him but the ulama but the ulama are rather i should say the so called ulama the scholars because of their hard hard heartedness and uh, enmity and jealousy they started uh, putting the allegation upon him and they are putting this allegation until today that god forbid uh, he the promised messiah he was the one who degraded the status of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that is why he is a non believer and those who believe you they are also non believers but uh, uh, as opposed to that when we see about uh, the love of the holy, promised messiah regarding the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we see in urdu in persian in english uh, and uh, in arabic and in his books the statements which he has given and his uh, uh, poetry then it becomes very clear that uh, that uh, that the love and affection the status uh, that he had with the love of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam no one else can compete each and every word uh, regarding allah and uh, allah, allah the almighty and uh, is the proof of the fact that he was lost in the love of allah and the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the same thing when there are some pious people in the opponents as well uh, and uh, and uh, when it is made clear to ordinary muslims then they do come into the path of the promised messiah they come into the servitude of the promised messiah and in this way a uh, truly uh, they come into the uh, servitude of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the holy Pro- the promised messiah alayhi salatu wasalam in one of his uh, persian verses that badas ba khuda ba ishq e muhammad muhammaram gar kufr e imbawad ba khuda sakht kafiram muhammad muhammaram gar ku gar ku kufr e imbawad ba khuda sakht kafiram that after the intense love with allah almighty with the love of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in that love i am completely satiated and drowned in that and if this is you call the disbelief that by god i am the greatest uh, uh, disbeliever and similarly in arabi arabic language in the form of uh, the poems is such when by reading that the arabs they uh, they are extremely overjoyed that such a beautiful uh, uh, statement uh, that in the praise of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we have never had anywhere heard anywhere nor we have read somewhere anywhere and uh, may allah make it that uh, the people of the world they are able to recognize this great lover of the promised messiah and the ulama and uh, rather we should say the bad ulama because of their fear they they deny this greatest lover of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they should not become the recipient of the wrath of allah because of that the bad ulama uh, regarding that i remember a, a joke a, on the social media a mulla a, was speaking something about ahmadid and he was uh, putting some allegations and because of his ignorance or maybe in his uh, talk in excitement he he said that a, a certain mulla who is a great ulama and he is counted among the ulama su that who is uh, from the bad ulamas he has also given this verdict that uh, these ahmadis they are the non believers but anyway uh, 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 thanks to him that we all always say that these all the verdicts uh, edicts and given they are all given by bad ulamas whether anyway whether they say it or not but the 
by giving these edicts against that who was sent by Allah Almighty, these people are definitely to be counted among the bad ulama. At this time, this greatest uh, lover of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam regarding the love and dedication to the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam some of the statements and the status of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam those things which uh, show us the high status of the Holy Prophet I am going to present each and every word of that uh, it is for Ahmadis uh, and those people who call the Ahmadis as a non-believer. It is like a smashing in the face of uh, those people who attribute this uh, thing to uh, the Ahmadis. He says that the greatest of all the prophets and he is the greatest uh, reformer uh, is the status of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Hazrat Promised Messiah Sallallahu says, that the fact of the matter is that the greatest of all the prophets is that prophet who is the Murabi Azam, the greatest trainer of the world. That is the that is to say that through him the greatest or disorder of the world uh, was removed, and the unity of Allah Almighty which was disappeared, he brought it back again, and that uh, the Tawheed, the unity which had gone away, which was completely disappeared, he re-established that. And all the wrong, uh, false religions, and he uh, dominated all those uh, religions with argument and removed their doubts. And uh, and he removed the suspicions and doubts of all the people, these non-believers. And he, and uh, through the right teaching, uh, once again he re-established the true faith in their hearts. So with the, with the, and, and through these arguments, because the benefit uh, of the, and uh, because these arguments are good, so his status is also very high. The books of history say that, uh, and all those people who have got the eyes to see, they can see that that prophet, who according to this standard, is the greatest of all the prophets. That is no one else but the Holy Prophet, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Then the, uh, the Holy Prophet وسلم, regarding his truth and his excellence and superiority giving one argument of that the promised Messiah وسلم, says that on the Holy Prophet وسلم, he came in at such a time when in the whole world was the partnership with Allah Almighty and disbelief and darkness was spread all over the world and all the people they had abundant the uh, the true values and true laws and uh, after, after forgetting these uh, things all the people they have taken their different ways and uh, in Arab there was people used to worship idols and Persia as well uh, and in India uh, uh, apart from other vices so many vices were there and uh, and there were some people that uh, uh, those people, uh, through those things, that there's many human beings, they were made gods. And uh, people started worshipping them. And uh, uh, there is a name, Dafti Padri. It looks, John, John Devonport is the right name. That priest, and Hazrat Masih Maudalai Islam says, that, uh, that many scholars of the Christian religion, uh, they... Uh, they believe that there is no better religion than Islam and uh, in, and uh, in the Christian faith not only in one but in so many things uh, they have been the Jesus was given the status of God so the Holy Prophet وسلم, is coming at this time that when this uh, condition of the time uh, it required this uh, coming of a, a doctor a physician and there was a dire need of this and then he came at that time and the one whole world he was brought back to pious deeds and to uh, free them from a partnership with the Almighty 
and uh, completely destroying the whole concept of a partnership with Allah Almighty. That is the true proof of the fact that the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the true uh, pro a prophet of Allah Almighty. And uh, on, on one side he established the unity of Allah and the pious deeds. And on the other side, uh, that worship of uh, humanity was there and the pa uh, partnership with Allah Almighty was there. He removed all these things. And he said that uh, uh, these are these vices are the mother of all vices. And, uh, and uh, the pri priests themselves, uh, they have accepted this point that uh, the uh, partnership with Allah was widespread at that time when the Holy Prophet came. And and then describing this thing that the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he received the lights of Allah more than anybody else. And, uh, and he was even uh, higher in status than other Prophets and he was perfect. Hadrat Taqdas Masih Maudul Asalatu Waslam says, the Promised Messiah says that as the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because of his inner, uh, pure inner, inner self and the truth and the dependence of Allah Almighty and the love of Allah Almighty because all the requirements were fulfilled and they were much greater than and superior than all the Prophets and he was the uh, most perfect and more complete and therefore that is why Allah Almighty Allah Almighty Allah Almighty gave him the perfume of his love more than anybody else uh, all the perfections and the qualities which can be found in a person they were all given to the Holy Prophet and that fragrance he created and that heart and that chest which was uh, which was more white than the uh, heart and the chest of all other people that was more bright and uh, more high and uh, he that was deserving that such a revolution should come to him which was uh, much uh, stronger and better and superior than the revelation of all the people to show the attributes of Allah Almighty and he was a very wide mirror to show he received such revelation which was uh, attained its excellence and the highest order and the highest position and that is perfect and complete so that uh, the attributes of Allah Almighty can be exhibited to the people and that was uh, one of the means of showing those attributes he was like a mirror in which these qualities were reflected and they came to the world. So he said that this is the reason that uh, Allah the Almighty, the, that the Holy Quran has got so so much so much excellence that in front of its bright lights, the glamour of all the previous books is, has been dimmed, and nobody can bring such a matter of truth which is already not there in the Holy Quran. There is no such thought uh, which uh, which is not already. Allah Almighty has invested in the Holy Quran and everything is there that is what it means and which was revealed upon the Holy Prophet and there is no such statement or speech uh, cannot affect the hearts of the people so strong as uh, as the Holy Prophet gives the great impact to the people those who want to understand those who wish to uh, those who start to understand the Holy Quran and uh, this is the way in which ev every one person gets everything and uh, and uh, which are required to go to the highest uh, status of belief all the things are retained so this is the view of the promised messiah and apart from this teaching there is nothing else outside so then how can this allegation be put that god forbid the promised messiah alayhi salam and he was degrading the status of the Holy Prophet and the Holy Quran. The perfect understanding of Allah Almighty, it can only be attained by completely attachment with the Holy Prophet and to understand his status. So describing that, the this point, describing this point that, uh, that uh, the spiritual power of the Holy Prophet was the strongest. Uh, and in that, uh, it had that thing which created a pious revolution uh, in the life of the companions and took them to high standard. He says that uh, 
this thing should not be hidden from anyone that the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam his place of birth it was a limited peninsula which is known as arab which was in all times was cut off from other part of the world like it was a, a place of seclusion from others and before the advent of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that country was uh, and uh, the people used to live like beast and uh, the uh, faith and to be aware of the rights of allah and the people and for hundreds of years a uh, idol worship and uh, other vices and impure thoughts were there and uh, and uh, and drinking and uh, gambling and other other types of uh, uh, bad things they were taken to the highest point and uh, th- uh, robbery and stealing and uh, infanticide the killing the young daughters and to devour the property of the orphans and to usurp their rights and they would not consider anything about that in short every bad thing and every type of darkness and every type of uh, uh, indifference and uh, negligence was fully dominating the hearts of the people this is such a famous well known thing that no uh, knowledgeable opponent if he has got some truth in his heart they cannot deny this thing he says that uh, this thing is also clear on every uh, just person those who are having the justice in their mind that they, they know that these ignorant people and beastly people and those impure people uh, Uh, after entering into islam and believing in the holy quran those very people rashi aur na na parsa log islam mein dakhil hone after entering into into the islam and accepting the holy quran what sort of different people they were and how the uh, impact of the this book and the impact of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and in the company of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam within a short time with a short time in a short while they were changed into such pure hearts that after the ignorance they were enriched with the a beautiful concept of uh, um, the knowledge and firstly they had the worldly love in their hearts then they were completely lost in the love of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and allah almighty and from their relatives people and from uh, uh, and uh, uh, they spent all the luxuries and the enjoyment of this world in order to find allah almighty so both these uh, in, in these examples and both these conditions and uh, and uh, after islam the change that they have they taken it has been mentioned in the holy quran that a pious person when he reads those with then his eyes they are filled with tears so what was that thing which uh, so suddenly brought him one from one world to another world those were the things and there were two things one was that they uh, that uh, uh, that prophet who was without any sin uh, he, that uh, he was such that nobody was similar to him and the second thing is that uh, allah the almighty and the beautiful message of allah almighty the holy quran and uh, there was strange beneficence of that that uh, uh, that they bring out the people from darkness and bring to the light and certainly these are the blessings of the holy quran and they were extraordinary impact and uh, effect of that and nobody can show any other example uh, like this that any book has ever got such the impact and uh, good t- uh, result who can give a proof that any book has ever brought about such a pious change as the holy quran has brought and then 
describing this point that uh, the light which was given to the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it was not given to anyone hadrat taqdas promised messiah alaihi salatu wasallam sees that good light which was given to human being that is the perfect man that was not there in angels nor in stars nor in sun moon are not in sun he was he was not in the oceans of the world not in uh, in the rivers and that uh, it was not in a uh, beauty and uh, ruby and jewel and uh, all uh, sapphire uh, in short he wa- it was not in anything from the heaven or the earth it was only in human being and that is that is the perfect man and that the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and uh, the most complete and evident and glaring example of that was is our holy master leader of all leader of all the prophets and the muhammad mustafa the chosen one the sallallahu alaihi wasallam so that light was given to him bestowed upon him and according to the status and all it was given to those people who are similar to him in his color and those who also have the same qualities Uh, those who are followed the following of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the fact is that those who are following in his footsteps and uh, he said that uh, this glory um, in the highest form that was given uh, to our master and our leader and uh, our guide and uh, who was the truthful person uh, muhammad mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was given that as allah almighty himself has mentioned in the holy quran that kul inna salati wa nusuki wa mahiyaya wa mamati lillahi rabbil alamin la la sharika lahu wa bi zalika umirtu wa ana awwalul muslimin wa anna hadha sirati mustaqim fattabiu wa la tattabiu subla فتفرق بكم عن سبيله كل ان كنتم تحبون الله فتبعوني يحببكم الله ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم والله غفور رحيم والله غفور رحيم فكل اسلم تو وجه لله وامرت ان نسلم لرب العالمين Allah Almighty said that uh, you say these people that my worship and my worship and effort in that the effort in in my worship and prayer and my sacrifices and my living life and my death everything is for the sake of Allah and it is in his way and he that God who is the Lord of all the universe no partner with him and I have been commanded and i am the first among the believers on the rasul sallam allah almighty declared it for him that he is the first in of the believers that from the beginning to the end of the world there is no one who could be perfect in such a belief who is so much devoted in allah that all the trust given by allah almighty he is the one who is going to give it back and promise messiah says that in this verse those ignorant uh, uh, opponents uh, their rejection is there that who blame the our prophet the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that uh, uh, the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is not uh, uh, um, excellent as compared with other people and he do not have this uh, superiority over other people the rejection of that is mentioned in this the promise messiah says and these ignorant uh, uh, people their rejection of their view has been mentioned that uh, those who say that this does not uh, establish the superiority of the holy prophet over the other people and they say that uh, the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has uh, 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 has uh, forbidden that i should not be given the superiority o- over the jonas jona prophet jona bin matta and these ignorant pe- people do not uh, understand that even if that this is right but uh, that hadith is just because of a uh, uh, humbleness and humility which the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was so used to doing that 
there is a time and place for everything and there is a special occasion for these things if a, if a, a very pious person he writes akrul ibad that i am the lowliest of the human beings he, he, to to understand that he is the person worse than all the idolaters and uh, those who set up partners with allah almighty and he is the lowly uh, lowliest of all the creation of allah almighty how uh, uh, how foolishness it would be he, and this is the only the expression of the one's humbleness which has been done here one should see that when allah almighty uh, the, the glorious he has mentioned the name of the holy priest and his name has been mentioned as awwal al muslimin that he is the first of the true believers and uh, and he is the leader of all those who submit and uh, he is the one who is returning the trust first of all for, uh, first than anybody else so uh, he declares it the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so then is it a room for anybody to doubt it and to say uh, anything a bad against the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah the almighty in this uh, verse which has been mentioned uh, for islam allah almighty has mentioned various status and the highest status is is of that which was uh, given to the nature of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam there are other stages but the highest status was given to the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam because it was given to his nature it was ingrained in him subhanallah ma azama shanuka ya rasulullah that holy is allah and how high is the status of the holy prophet and isa and musa that moses and jesus they are all uh, they are the armies and they are because of you and all the blessings uh, the given to them and they are following him for you are followers and the uh, translation of the remaining verses is allah almighty says to the prophet that you tell them that my path that is the straight path so follow that and don't follow the other paths because they will take you away from god you tell them that if you love allah almighty then then come and follow me and uh, follow me and walk behind me and follow my path which is the uh, true nature of islam you f- uh, tread on that then allah almighty will care you care you and forgive your sins you say that this is my path and i have been commanded that everything that should belong that i should submit fully to allah almighty and uh, i should uh, i should uh, make myself pure for the sake of allah almighty this is my command and if you are going to follow me then you will get the status and uh, and i should make myself dedicated for allah and as he is allah almighty and i should i am the khatmun nabiyin and uh, and i should be dedicated in this path so i have uh, dedicated myself all that i possessed i have given it to allah nothing belongs to me but belongs to me that belongs to allah and this is that high status which the promised messiah alayhi salatu wasalam has mentioned about the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and then describing this thing that the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, was the true reflection of allah almighty the promised messiah alayhi salatu wasalam says uh, says that uh, in the there are various occasions in the holy quran where a reference is made is indication is given and sometimes things are mentioned by reference that allah almighty is the manifestation of the best manifestation of the person of allah almighty and his speech was the speech of allah and his coming was the coming of allah and his coming is the coming of allah almighty. so in the holy quran this verse is also there wa kul jal haqqo wa zahq al batil inna al batil kana zahuka you say that the truth has come and falsehood has vanished and the um, the, um, the haq means allah almighty it is meant by allah almighty in the holy quran and the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is meant here and the falsehood is satan and the group of satan and the satanic teachings so you see that allah almighty in his name has 
has included the name of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu there and uh, his coming, his advent is the coming of Allah and uh, such a majestic uh, a coming that where the Satan is running away with all his uh, followers and uh, they are completely humiliated and degraded, degraded there and he has been defeated and uh, because of that uh, in Surah Ali Imran uh, in detail it has been mentioned that uh, that uh, all the people they were it, a covenant was taken from them that it is essential from you that the great status of the Holy Prophet وسلم, the leader of all the prophets is there you believe in that and this greatness and his excellence uh, you spread that and support give him all the support and that is why Hadrat Adam uh, uh, who was chosen by Allah uh, till, uh, till uh, Jesus Christ uh, so many prophets came all of them they were uh, they they were they were admitting the greatness of the Holy Prophet then regarding his high status expressing that the that as our Allah is unique and one and our prophet is also unique and he is our guide and leader the promised Messiah Islam in his book says the Arabic wording is That meaning, meaning is of Arabic writing is that uh, the servant of Allah Ahmad says that Allah Almighty may help him all the time that uh, no one has understood me uh, then uh, no one has understood me and he has taught me in the best way and Allah Almighty revealed to me that the religion of Islam is uh, religion of Islam is the true religion and the Holy Prophet وسلم, is the leader he is the unlettered prophet the Holy Prophet وسلم, he is the guide and uh, he is uh, one without any partner and similarly our messenger is also one in this case that he should be followed and he is the seal of all the prophets and these people they put the allegation that uh, he the promised messiah said something different before the claim and this is after the claim in in 1895 this this was written and uh, then uh, mentioning uh, 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 this thing that uh, human excellence the one who showed the example of that that was uh, only the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Musiya Pramus Messiah says that I have been told that uh, uh, Islam is the only religion which is true and from all the guidance it is the guidance of the Quran which is right and which is the highest uh, order and it is free from all mixtures and I have been told that the uh, prophet, out of all the prophets the one who gave the perfect teaching is the Holy Prophet and uh, the all the one who showed the greatest example of his excellence that is there is our master our guide uh, and our leader is Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he says that now where are those priests who say that uh, where is that uh, God forbid Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was not able to show any prophecy or no extra thing he was able to ship. I tell you uh, honestly that he is the only one honest person on the earth the, whose prophecies were fulfilled and extraordinary happenings uh, took place there through him and uh, and that is uh, you know it is like a river like an ocean with strong waves in it and uh, all and uh, such a religion any other religion how is there and where the, uh, such people be and uh, who can compete with the blessings of the uh, blessings of Islam and if, even if you want to see the signs today 
they can be seen in Islam and among those people who are truly and honestly following the Holy Prophet Sallallahu And then he says, there for the human being, there was no book for the human being except the Quran. And for all human beings, there was no messenger except the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So you try your best that the true love should be with that honorable great prophet and do not give any preference uh, to anyone uh, so that you could be declared uh, among those people who get the salvation and remember the salvation is not which comes after the death but the true salvation is that which shows its uh, uh, light in this very life who is the one who is uh, uh, got the salvation and who believe he is the one who that uh, allah Allah is right and the Holy Prophet ﷺ is the intercessor between the human beings and Allah Almighty. And there is no other prophets equal with him in status, nor any other book equal to the status of the Holy Quran. And for no one Allah Almighty thought that he should live forever. But this great honored prophet is living forever. And uh, and Hudri Prophet ﷺ, he got that uh, wealth which uh, the the dispensation of uh, Moses and Jesus they had lost. So now this is uh, thousands of times more in glory than those uh, uh, previous uh, dispensations. He said that we we found God Almighty through the Holy Prophet Sallallahu He said the uh, Almighty God, all omnipotent and powerful and each and every particle of our body submits to him and through him uh, that all the people uh, all the people were created through him and it was through uh, his being that all other things are uh, surviving. He says that uh, true and powerful God, our soul and each and every particle of our body submits to Him and uh, through Him it is uh, all the people, all the uh, particle, uh, they have got uh, the existence and uh, through Him all the other people are uh, survive and there is nothing outside His knowledge and control. There is nothing out of control and nor His uh, creation. Is, it is the creation of him and uh, maybe uh, thousands of blessings may be upon that uh, prophet the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam through him we have found that living god who speaks to the people and gives the proof of his existence and then shows extraordinary signs and then with his perfect knowledge and powers then he shows us uh, the brilliant face of allah and we have found that messenger who has shown us the God and the God and we found that God who with his perfect knowledge, uh, power and knowledge and what great, uh, how greatness, great is his uh, qualities. Without that nobody came into existence and without uh, his support nobody can survive. He is a living God uh, full of blessings and uh, so many bound, uh, powers are there and blessings are there and so many beneficence is there and there is no God beside him. And he said, and, uh, and uh, telling that whatever I have got, I have got from the Holy Prophet. He said that I swear in this name of Allah, that as he spoke to Abraham, Allah Almighty spoke to Ibrahim, then Isaac and Ismail and Jacob and Jacob and Yusuf, Joseph and Moses and Masib and Maryam. And, and uh, at the end, the other prophet, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu he spoke in such a way that uh, much greater than anybody the purest revelation was given similarly he also gave me the honor of uh, having converse with Allah Almighty but this excellence is only and only because of following this prophet if I had not followed the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam not have been a member of his Ummah and I have not followed him 
then if all equal to all the mountains of the world i had done the good deeds but i would not have achieved this uh, honor of communion with allah almighty which i have got because now except the prophet uh, all the prophets except the holy prophet have finished and uh, uh, without sharia the prophet can come but not with a new sharia and uh, and I, he, i i know with my perfect knowledge that no one without following the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam no one can reach to god almighty and nor he can uh, get the uh, any share of uh, true understanding of allah and i also tell you that what is the reason what is the thing which uh, after the following the holy um, uh, following the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam which you have in your heart so remember that is the pure heart if the love of world goes away and the heart is a uh, um, is a need of a uh, a uh, un uh, lasting forever uh, love that and uh, and uh, all these blessings uh, they are achieved by following the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam one inherits from that as the lord might say kul in kuntum tuhibbun allah fattabun yuhibbukum allah you tell them that if you love allah, allah almighty then you come and uh, love me and follow me and allah almighty will love you and the love of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it makes a person beloved of allah almighty regarding that he says that allah the almighty if allah almighty has made it conditional his love with anyone that such a person should be following the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in reply to the allegation of some people he said that if somebody says that actually the purpose is to perform the good deeds so then uh, in order to become a person of salvation why one should follow someone so he, he said that uh, it all depends on the blessing of allah almighty and the approval of allah if allah almighty has uh, mentioned uh, sent this uh, great prophet and he commanded to f- follow him so then no anybody who does not follow him he is not enabled to perform any good deed to follow the messenger of allah almighty is very essential and without that nobody can perform good deeds and more than anybody else the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the obedience is necessary it is my personal experience that to follow the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and to love him ultimately it makes a person the beloved of allah and uh, the love of allah almighty the fire of that is kindled into the heart and uh, and the person is totally submits to allah almighty and then his uh, uh, love is dedicated to allah and then a very clearing manifestation of love of allah almighty comes to him and uh, with a natural way he is attracted to allah almighty then he overcomes his uh, selfish uh, egos and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, then allah almighty shows extraordinary happenings uh, uh, for that person he says that uh, the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam his attention is such which makes a person a prophet allah the holy holy allah almighty made him the owner of the uh, the stamp stamp of the khatm al muwat and that was given and that is why his name was khatm al nabiyin that is to say that uh, his following him enables a person to uh, the excellence of the prophets and uh, this love his obedience and following of the holy prophet makes a person the reflection of a prophet and that is the meaning of uh, um ulama ummati kam biay bani israil that ulama scholars of my umma will be like the prophets of the moses and uh, all the pro- so many prophets came but their prophethood was not the result of following moses but that ex- prophet was the, a direct uh, a, you know blessing uh, re- by received by them now i said to ulama i say the so called ulama i speak to them that you ponder over it so if you believe that somebody because of the following the holy prophet has become a prophet does it increase the status of the holy prophet or not your worldly objectives gains are they are affected by believing in that 
but we can say with full confidence and full belief that uh, the greatest position of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the perception of that that was attained by us by the holy prophet by the promised messiah sallallahu alaihi wasallam so all the ahmadis particularly they may take it a responsible and they should make a responsibility of invoking durood upon the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so that we can uh, get those blessings which are a conditional with the true relationship with the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam hazrat promised messiah alaihi salatu wasallam regarding invoking durood upon the holy prophet he says that uh, our leader and master uh, muhammad mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam a uh, that uh, look at his example uh, he, he 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 confronted all the difficulties he suffered everything all these difficulties but he did not care for that and this was the purity and the uh, dedication uh, and that is why allah almighty said inna allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala an-nabi ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima that uh, Allah and his messengers they invoke durood upon the holy prophet o oh, believers you also invoke blessing upon the holy prophet this verse shows clearly that the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam his actions were such that Allah the almighty praised there and Allah almighty did not mention a particular word for that words could be possible but Allah almighty did not use any word for that purpose to praise the actions performed by the holy prophet Allah Almighty did not like to limit that, and such a verse has not been revealed or used in relation to any other prophet. He said that uh, in the in his spirit, so so much truth and piety was there, and uh, he was so much loved by Allah Almighty that Allah Almighty commanded permanently that uh, the people in future, in order to show their gratefulness to Allah Almighty, they should invoke blessing upon the Holy Prophet, and then explaining it first further. why the durood should be said he said in explaining this point he says that durood should be said that the complete blessings of allah allah almighty should descend upon the holy prophet and uh, and his fountain and he is made a fountain of blessings for the whole world and his greatness and excellence uh, in this world and the hereafter is many made manifest so this should be with the uh, coming out from your heart with your inner feelings as a person dedicatedly pray and similarly the durood should be said like that even more dedication more uh, humbleness should be there in the and one should not keep anything for himself and uh, that i will get this i will get this not like everything uh, should be prayed for the for the holy prophet and uh, the all the blessings may descend upon the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his greatness and glory should be manifest for the whole people and day and night regularly uh, one should go on invoking and there should be no other prayer more than that and then he says that the durood uh, advising us he says that recite it extensively and not by way of ceremony but uh, but uh, considering the blessings and the bounties of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his status and his uh, and uh, status which has been given to him and for the success and for the high status we have to invoke this durood and what is this is the spread of uh, true islam all over the world and uh, that is what is mean what uh, well the vices which have spread in the name of islam to eliminate that uh, and this is the duty of the ahmadi that one should pray in such a way one should uh, be drowned in these prayers in such a way that through the prayers we have to uh, do away with the vices of the world at one time inviting the attention of a follower uh, he said that you should be very mindful of uh, invoking the durood and as a, a person prays for one's beloved similarly one should have uh, all the blessings and with great uh, humbleness uh, and there should be no artificiality in that one he should uh, he should have a true friendship and love with the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and with the truth of the one soul one should uh, a uh, beg all these blessings for the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam which are mentioned in the durood and the personal love is indicated by this thing that one should never feel tired never one should stop and nor there should be any any element of uh, selfish desire 
and one should always invoke the blessings upon the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And Allah Almighty may show all the blessings uh, of the Holy Prophet to the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And the wisdom of uh, this Durud once he mentioned that although uh, the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is not in need of the any prayer from anybody well, but there is a very deep secret is there. The person who through his personal uh, uh, love uh, he prays in the, so because of the personal link uh, if, if someone prays for such a person then he himself becomes a part of that so as these uh, blessings are innumerable upon the Holy Prophet وسلم, so those people who with their dedicated personal love they invoke uh, drood upon the Holy Prophet and uh, in an excitement they do so then they get the blessings of Allah Almighty but without dedication and excitement uh, uh, that uh, very rarely happens. So we should have this personal dedication in invoking the drood of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Regarding the drood Allah Almighty may create this zeal in us and dedication and we should be invoking drood day and night and, uh, and we have to uh, be able to see those victories and blessings which Allah Almighty has promised and through his true lover the Holy Promised Messiah Almighty, uh, the Promised Messiah, it has been mentioned. So we do not need any certificate from so-called Muslims, whether we are Muslims or not. Or we don't have to write on a forum and we don't be become Muslim like that. The only thing, the certificate that we need, the authentication that we need, and that is the blessing of Allah Almighty, that Allah Almighty should be happy with us. and. Uh, and he will give us that certificate certification when we become the we become truly the member of the ummah of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and do full justice in this love and then our durood will reach the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam then we will be enabled to become the recipient of the blessings which allah almighty has promised to the holy prophet allah almighty enable us to do so and bless us like that and uh, the one year is coming to the end in uh, some places it is one day or 24 hours left so in our last day uh, you should fill with drood and you uh, welcome the new year by drood and salam that so that we can uh, we become the recipient of those blessings as early as possible which are related with the person of the holy prophet sallallahu allah almighty enable us uh, and we are save us from opposition and every and now we are going to join please join with me